Good morning. Today is Wednesday the 15th of June and it's a feria in the 11th week of the Church's ordinary time. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. And the first reading is taken from 2 Kings 2, uh, 1, 6-14. This is what happened when the Lord took Elijah up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elijah and Elisha set out from Gilgal. Elijah said, Elisha, please stay here. The Lord is only sending me to the Jordan. But he replied, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And they went on together. Fifty of the brotherhood of the prophets followed them, halting some distance away as the two of them stood beside the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water. And the water divided to left and right and the two of them crossed over, dry shod. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Make your request. What can I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha answered, Let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Your request is a difficult one, Elijah said. If you see me while I am being taken from you, it shall be as you ask. If not, it will not be so. Now as they walked on, talking as they went, a chariot of fire appeared and horses of fire coming between the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elisha saw it and shouted, My father, my father, chariot of Israel and its charges. Then he lost sight of him and taking hold of his clothes, he tore them in half. He picked up the cloak of Elijah which had fallen and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the cloak of Elijah and struck the water. Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah, he cried. He struck the water and it divided to right and to left and Elisha crossed over. The word of the Lord. The Gospel is from the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 6, 1 to 6. Jesus said to his disciples, be careful not to parade your good works before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will, all, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they've had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look, as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that no one will know you are fasting, except your Father, who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we're learning about Christian discipleship, Christian leadership. The two great prophets at the time of the writing of the books of Kings, Elijah and then his, uh, his followers, Elisha. And Elijah goes off, he knows he's come to the end of his time on earth, uh, but Elisha stays with him. It was always agreed that the eldest could ask for double from whoever was passing on. 
So this is it's no uh, surprise that he asked for double. But in this case, he asked for double the spirit of Elijah. <clears throat> Elijah is not sure God will grant it to him. And says, well, if you see me go off into heaven or whatever happens, then you'll know you've been granted it. But if you don't, then you haven't. They cross over the Jordan in ways that are uh, similar to Moses, the also a blessed person of God. Um, and they touch it with their river and the Jordan parts left and right. Perhaps it's more Joshua. And Joshua, again, was the follower person who came after Moses. Then the chariot of fire swoops down and Elijah is taken off into heaven and Elisha watches it all. So he has seen the taking of Elijah to heaven and um, it's proved because later on he picks up Elijah's cloak and when he touches the Jordan again the river parts. So trust in God, doing things the right way and trusting that God will work through one. The Gospel is about praying and giving alms in secret. That we must do, pray and do give alms for the right reason, not so that other people admire us and say, oh, what how generous we are. In each case, he gives examples of people who uh, pray in public and want everybody to see them, give alms in public, want everybody to see them. The emphasis is on the relationship with the Father, that each of us trust that God is looking after us, God knows us, and God knows that when we do something out of love for Christ, then it's all part of our worship, it's all part of our service of God, and it won't go unrewarded. So in this time, perhaps, um, I'm going to say this is public actually, but uh, giving money to the food bank or giving food to the food bank. This is an important time for doing what we can because there is such a need uh, for uh, donations to the food bank. We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. God is love. He who dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. In Jesus Christ we see how God loves us. Let us renew our faith in his love. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. You have given us life and light this morning. Let us give thanks for such great gifts. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. You are the sole master of the future. Keep us from despair and the fear of what is to come. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. Love has no ambition to seek anything for itself. Strengthen our will to give up selfishness today. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. May your love in us overcome all things. Let there be no limit to our faith, our hope and our endurance. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. And we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, in your wisdom you created us, by your providence you rule us. Penetrate our inmost being with your holy light, so that our way of life may always be one of faithful service to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a good day.